Hello, I'm Grace. I'm a new artist and I'm learning textured art. Come with me as I paint a new piece today. Before I got started, I needed to create some fresh texture paste. So I thought I'd film the process so that you can see how I'm creating this particular paste. I've learned that different pieces need different texture paste. The consistency and how it applies to the page really affects the result you get. For this piece, I wanted to do a mix of filler with emulsion paint. As you can see, I only had a very small amount of paint compared to the amount of filler. It very quickly thins out the filler and for this piece, I needed something quite thick. In the end, I concluded that I shouldn't have added any paint or if any, a very, very small amount because the consistency turned out to be too smooth for what I wanted. When I originally started doing textured art just a couple of months ago, I was focused on painting mountains. So for this piece, I decided to go back to that. I found an image of mountains on Google to base this piece on, and so I started by sketching out the shape of the mountains, ready for me to add the texture paste. Having just the basic outline gives something to follow as you add the texture paste, and it means that you're not constantly referencing back to the photo and trying to figure it out. You just have those lines to fill in and you already have an understanding of the shapes that you want to create. I've found that when creating mountains, the texture paste isn't necessarily there to create the actual shape of the mountain, but more to create the depth and texture of the mountain. So you can't create the exact rock shape but you can create the impression of the mountains. I tried using a lot more texture paste for this piece. I wanted to create it so that it was thicker to see if that would give a better texture. However I found that the quality of the canvases that I'm using isn't up to this much weight and in the end the canvas bowed under the weight during the drying time and so the texture paste ended up cracking slightly. It didn't affect the overall piece but it's just something I need to learn from going forward and I don't think I need to apply it so thickly. The first time I properly went to mountains was three years ago. I visited my friend who lives in Switzerland and we took the train to Interlaken and then on to Grindelwald. I've never tried skiing so I wasn't sure about giving that a go, but I did grow up going sledging with my family on the few snow days that we would get. Where I grew up in the UK, if it snowed, it would only be a few inches absolute maximum and would only last a day or two. So we would always seize the opportunity, find our sledge and head out to the local park. So in Switzerland, we decided to give sledging down a mountain a go. It's a whole different ball game to just sledging in the park. We originally hoped to do the sledge run above Grindelwald, which is the longest in Europe, but the snow on that side of the valley had melted already. So we ended up needing to do the Eiger run. It was described as a more challenging advanced sledge run, so we were not confident, and we did nearly back out, but buoyed by each other's enthusiasm, we decided to just give it a go. It was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. I was terrified for much of it, but it was incredibly exhilarating and I loved every second. I'll never forget it. You have to take the cable car to the top of the mountain and then you set off near to where the ski is set off. And as you go down the mountain, the sledge run interweaves with the skiing run and you get all the views. It was incredible. There was kids doing it too, but I don't know how because it was really challenging. However, if you do ever get the opportunity to go sledging in the mountains, I would highly recommend it. You don't need to start on a challenging advanced run. That was definitely going in at the deep end and not something I'd recommend. But since then we've been to the Dolomites and we went sledging on Boxing Day down a really easy run that you could do a few times and that was incredible. If you ever get the chance, I'd definitely go. I love spending time in the mountains and it's been really fun trying to capture that feeling in these pieces.
for my previous mountain pieces I used quite a range of colours but for this one I decided to try just sticking to cooler tones with just greys and blues. Something I'm finding with my learning process is because I'm excited about trying out lots of different styles and techniques it means that I'm not particularly getting great at any one of those techniques. I haven't been doing this for that long yet but I have created I think about 15 pieces and I'm not feeling like I'm seeing the progression that I was hoping for but I think that is primarily because each piece is pretty different from the previous one and I'm only doing one or two within the same technique which means it's hard to improve. On top of that I've been changing my tools and medium quite a bit trying to figure out what works and what doesn't which means each time you're basically starting from scratch, trying to see how it works and how it applies to the page. Sometimes it just doesn't work that well, which means in the end there's not much progression from piece to piece. But I've learned a lot and I can see that there is overall progress and I'm excited to figure out the styles that do work for me and the ones that I'm not so excited about. But while I am finding it fun trying different styles, I'm going to keep doing that. I have a few more different ones that I want to give a go to. very nearly didn't share this piece. I know I said that last week as well but this one is actually a couple of weeks old and I very nearly just binned it and moved on because I wasn't happy with how the colours came out. How I painted it wasn't quite right, it didn't come out the way I wanted and combined with the smooth texture paste which wasn't rough enough it ended up creating a piece that ultimately I wasn't happy with and I'm still not but I thought that shouldn't be a reason for me not to share it. The whole point of this YouTube channel for me is to share my process and my learning. I'm not an expert or a professional yet and the only way I'm going to get there is by giving things a go and ultimately by failing a lot. So this is me sharing one of my fails. You might not agree and you might even like it but I don't think it's as good as other pieces I've created and ultimately I'm just not that happy with it. This is the final piece. Let me know what you think. What would you change? How would you improve it? Should I paint over it? Maybe that would make it better. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for being here. I hope you've enjoyed painting with me and I'll see you for my next piece.